Okay, let's discuss the uh, track headers in this video. We've talked enough about the arrangements and the clips and all their functions, so let's kind of head down this way and talk a little bit about what we're seeing over here. So each track has its own individual icon, as I've mentioned before. Get your instrument racks, you have the uh, keyboard, audio has the wave file there, and you can uh, record, solo, mute, and also in this little guy, you can show the automation lanes. So what's available here is the ability to adjust the size of the automation lanes up or down. You do that right here. Just hover over this little guy, change the arrows, and move up and down. And if you drop this guy down, you've got the choice of all your MIDI notes and your mixer, various volume, pan, mute, send one, two, or three selections there. And if you don't want to see that, you can hide it right here. And another nice feature is the audio right here in the device uh, track header. Nice little access there. And as you see, we've mentioned in previous videos, as I'm moving this one for audio three, because I have it highlighted and it's in the inspector, the audio in the inspector moves in conjunction with that. So also, we have the individual tracks. We have the MIDI or instrument and audio tracks. But one of the things that the uh, Bitwig team must have thought of is the opportunity for individual tracks to perform together or do one another's job. So that's where they created what's called a hybrid track. And a hybrid track, you can't really, you're not going to go to the menu here and find it under create not going to be listed as an option or anything like that. You can't even right click it and find it available. Hybrid tracks kind of create themselves when Bitwig Studio feels there's a need for them. And hopefully I'm explaining this well, but essentially let's say I've got some MIDI information that I've recorded maybe from the keyboard and I've got my chord pattern, my bass pattern, whatever it may be. If I bounce that down into like an audio file, that audio file that's bounced to can now be played in that same MIDI clip, in that same arrangement. They can be played together as a hybrid, which comes in quite handy as, as you'll see further. We're going to explore that um, in, a, in a video a little bit further down the road when we get into some actual track arrangement stuff. I'll, I'll bring that up and kind of display that for you. I just wanted to mention it now since we were talking about these particular things here. So we've got all of our track headers listed in our view here. We've got our master. And uh, let's move on to the next video.